So I have been testing the 16 inch MacBook Pro with the M2 Max CPU in different music production related tasks on this channel. And in my latest video, I tested some latency and uh, buffer sizes in uh, Logic and Ableton Live. And I said in the end of the video that uh, if you wanted me to do the test in a different way, try different things, just let me know and I will uh, make an update video. So you can, can consider this video <laughs> the update video of the last buffer test because people wanted me to try. Just uh, play some notes while the uh, project is playing. So if you haven't seen my latest videos about this, it's basically I have a, a Logic project here with 330 tracks of a Serum synthesizer with some stock plugins, EQ and the included compressor in Logic. And uh, I'm playing all of these tracks and it's barely working without uh, going a system overload and the project itself is set to 32 samples and uh, it's also set to a small buffer range and I'm using the Fireface uh, audio interface on this Mac uh, for this particular project and uh, I also have a synthesizer here which is uh, being played by uh, Contact7 so this is the one I'm going to try and it's just a basic synth patch pretty fast attack so you can hear it so it sounds like this without anything playing so you can see my finger here so the sound should come out pretty straight away and the, <clears throat> the audio and video should be in sync or at least I should fix that in editing if not this <laughs> video is pretty pointless anyway so let's just start the project now let's start playing it and you can see all of the um, lights are up here so everything is running and we hear a little noise in the background there and now let's try playing beautiful melody I kind of feel it miss some of them but it's it's not much okay let's stop it and try now okay so yeah so you can hear it's it's uh, low, <laughs> the latency is better when it's obviously not playing. Okay, let's try playing again and do the same. You can hear that it misses some of them a little bit, but it's not much. Let's see if I can do something with the camera here and just film the keyboard. So yeah, I would consider that working uh, pretty good. One thing I thought was really strange though is that if I go into my project here now and let's go to the settings and just turn the um, buffer size to 512. Take a look at this. I set the buffer size now from 32 to 512. I haven't changed anything else. I have the same amount of tracks and everything. And let's just press play, see what happens. You see that? I get a buffer o overload when using 512 samples. Okay, but I thought that lower buffer size would be more demanding on the system than higher buffer sizes. Let's just try playing some uh, on the synth thing here. Yeah, it works just fine. Let's try playing the track again. It's just uh, overload again. 
Okay, so let's let's just remove a few tracks. Let's m remove them down to 270. I tried this before <coughs> recording the video. Let's try play it now. You see, we still get a buffer overload with 270 tracks with 512 in buffer. Let's go down to 250. Still system overload. 230. Still system overload. 200. 199 tracks. Okay, 199 works. Let's try playing something here. Works just fine. So I don't want to be one of those YouTubers that learns you the wrong thing. Uh, I really don't want to be that person. So what I'm doing here is I am basically recording my screen, I am recording my fingers and I am recording what's happening when I do the things. I have to say I'm not a hundred percent versed in how buffer and uh, uh, latency works in in DOS. If you have more experience on, on this than I have, you are very welcome to comment in the comments down below. Uh, I know there is a lot of people commenting on my videos and I try to answer each and every one of you. But uh, lately it's, it's been a lot and uh, I thank you for all of the uh, really good advice and really helpful uh, advice you give to other people watching the video as well because uh, I think this is uh, interesting stuff and uh, clearly the, uh, what we want to know is is this machine capable of doing these things and clearly it is so uh, you are safe to use this Mac as a music production computer if you want but uh, again I don't have a bachelor in logic or a bachelor <laughs> in Ableton so don't don't shoot me if I do something wrong here I very well may be doing that so uh, anyway I, I just want to upload this so you can see it and uh, yeah hope you like it see you in the next one goodbye